Hey guys, Iowa Crypto Mining here, and today we're going to talk about Bitcoin ASICs and kind of just do like a cost analysis of which one you should buy and that kind of stuff. And we're going to just look at new models uh, that you can buy that are brand new. They're going to last for two or three years uh, and some of the, the newer ones that have just came out. So i um, got my trusty spreadsheet here um, and I've just kind of deleted it and just added just the ones that we need. And so if we look here, I have it set up to have nine cent power rate and that's typical what you see when you get when you're going to get it hosted if you can have you know cheaper at home great but most of the time with people at home they can only have one or two so this is you know if you're trying to think bigger you know trying to think a little bit bigger if you uh download the spreadsheet you can change the power rate and make it whatever you want but we're gonna use nine cents here uh right now when i'm as of recording the uh btc price is 46 1400 and that's been going up and down today but it's in that range and then right now the rewards are uh one nine and so the way I look at the rewards, look at our uh, sheet here. So this is just what to mine. Search for 100 tera hash uh, on SHA-256. And so I'm looking here at BTC and I'm looking here at nice hash. And so BTC, it says you're supposed to get 0.18 and nice hash supposed to get 0.182. And so this is the easiest way to compare across the board. And you'll see some places uh, that they would say, you know, price per petahash, which is, which is a, um, a thousand terahashes, um, and just, but it's it's in the same ballpark. If it says eighty four dollars per pet, petahash, that means it's you know you can make eighty four dollars for, you know, if you have ten of these, it at uh, to get up to a thousand terahash, you're gonna get your eighty four dollars. So um, it's kind of just an easy way to kind of compare multiple places. But I'm looking here, and, I, and the reason I have point one nine is because nice hash. I always seem to get a little bit better on nice hash. I get I get a little bit better rewards. Um, so if this says 0.182, I'm going to go with 0.19. And, and in general, it's going down. Um, this was a couple weeks ago. It was at two. I think my last video I did on on this a couple like uh, two or three months ago, it was like two two point one um, or 210 uh, 200 uh, you know BTC per hundred tera hash. So we're just going to use uh, 0.19 or three zeros and then one nine or 190 um, but that's how I get there just a little confusing but it's it's not that bad um, it's just kind of tough to explain there's so many zeros um, okay so let's get the spreadsheet set up and it's let's look at the miners so I get the newest bitmain ones or the s21 the s the t21 the k pro the 120 uh, the k pro 115 tera hash uh, and then also the s19 xp and the S19J Pro plus 120 terahash. And then the what's miners, I got the M60S, the M50S, M50, M60, and then I used uh, Hobbyist's uh, clocks from in his video. Um, and and then I got the M30S++. I have a M30S++ myself. So um, you can get these new. Uh, we have the cost for all these ASICs in here, and where we got the price on those is from Terra Hosting. Um, so bring up their website you can go and you can contact them on twitter you can send an email to their contact at terrahosting.io or you can call them um also if you check out their their discord here they actually have up to, uh, updated prices and you can message hawk and he can set you up and, and get that going so i know he's been selling quite a bit his prices are very good that price is at the door so that's just uh one very reliable uh place you can order from and like i said prices that's to your door in the US, which is great because most of the time you see these insane prices, but then there's, uh, you know, tariffs, shipping, and then that price becomes a lot higher than you had originally planned. So this this price they have is at the door. Um, and so with these updated prices here, uh, we can kind of see, you know, the, it, it kind of depends on what you're looking for. I There's one here that is far and away, I think, the best to buy. Um, I know these SK Pros, you can actually get a little bit better efficiency. You can change these numbers to where you can uh, lower the, the hash rate and, and get a lot less watts, or you can kind of keep the same hash rate and get better watts. So you can make these a little bit better. And those have been very good buys. Um, if you have, you know, a lot of space to fill up, that might be the option. Um, but I think the best price right now is this the T21s. And I know Terra Hosting, you can get those, they have a January batch available. If not February, well, I know these S21s for this price, that's the February batch. And it does go down if you wait till March, April, May, 
But the problem is that's a long time to wait. Um, and you know, you'd be getting, you know, you could be making a lot of profit. You could be making, you know, three or 400 bucks and that's the price for waiting a month. You could be making that if not more by ordering an earlier batch and start mining earlier. So I would, right now I'd be looking at the, the T21. Okay. So now we know what miners we're looking at. Now we know what the prices are and where we're getting those prices from. Uh, let's look a little bit more at this spreadsheet here. So on the far right here is the number we're going to mostly focus on and that's ROI. And so that's, if you buy the miner at this price and you use like the clocks here, the stock clocks, how long it's going to take to pay off when, with BTC net doesn't change at all. The price doesn't change. The hash rate doesn't change. The, the amount of revenue amount of Bitcoin you mine every day doesn't change that, that one nine zero. Um, if everything stayed the exact same, this is your ROI. Now we know that's not going to, not going to happen. We know the happening is coming in a hundred days or so. So we know there's going to be quite a bit of difference coming, but this is kind of where we're going to ballpark, where we're going to get at, where we're going to start with. And most big time miners, the big companies in the world, they want to have their miners paid off in 18 months. Okay. So 18 months is, is like 520 days. So anything sub 500 is pretty good if you're looking at it from a big miner standpoint because they want it, they they expect the the ASIC to last three years, so then they can be mining it for 18 months of pure profit. Okay, um, and so that's their goal. And us home miners, you know, we know we're going to be in the hole buying it up front. We want to be able to get that thing paid off and actually start making some money because most of the time we got to pay for our electrical. Something like this, with which is you know seven, eight, you know, or five, six, seven bucks a day in electrical costs. That's a lot of money out of your out of your pocket just to be to be holding on to it. So keep that in mind. You want to be able to cash out, but you want to have it for long term. So you want to have it set up to where you're mining long term. So these ROIs at 480 days, you know, is a little, you know, worrisome. Okay, but the thing is, the T21 is is much less than the rest of these, and that's because the upfront cost is a lot less than the S21. And the hash rate and the efficiency is right there. You know, it's better than the K Pros, better than the Pro, Pro Pluses. It's as good or better than most of the What's Miners. So that's, for that price, is, that's pretty good. And, you know, what's going to happen with the the Bitcoin price? We expect it to go up. Is it going to go up tomorrow? Maybe, maybe not. Is it going to go up right after the happening? Maybe, maybe not. But long term, we expect it to go up. So if you're able to just cash out what you need and hodl onto it and hold hodl onto the rest, that might be a good plan. Or just cash out as as you go. It's, it depends on what you want to do. But this is a long term play. This is not going to pay this thing off in three months and the rest is profit. This is long term mining where you're expecting you know a year will be great if you paid off in a year. Plan on a year and a half, and then after that's when you actually start making the money. And that's like I said, that's what the big time miners they plan on. So. Of these brand new miners, you know, I'm a little worrisome about the T21 because their other T models were hit and miss, but it's so much better profitability wise that if I was buying, if I had, you know, $100,000 to spend on Bitcoin miners to, to host with, you know, the Terra Hostings of the world or, or some other hosting company, I'd be buying probably T21s because it's the best bang for the buck. Um, you know, the K pros, you can, um, you know, the K pros, you can underclock, which is good. Most of those hosting companies don't want you to underclock though, because there is, it's a little more difficult yet. It's a little more hands-on to do all the underclocking and, and keep an eye on it and test it and that kind of stuff. Cause not, you can't just put in a, a, a reading and have that miner do exactly what it's supposed to. So that's a little you know, cumbersome to ha to send your ASIC somewhere and have it hosted to then underclock. Um, some do, some don't, but that, that, don't plan on that being an, an option 100% of the time. Um, but the T21 being very efficient, you know, after the happening might be an option. Let's talk about the happening. So, like I said earlier, we were talking about the ROI, and that's if nothing else nothing else changes. Everything's going to be the exact same as today. But we know the happening's coming, and so if everything stayed the same and the happening happened tomorrow we'd be dropping 50%, okay? So that'd be this back column here. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be somewhere around the 25% mark because when the happening happens, there's gonna be people that are gonna turn off. They have older models uh, or they're, 
power rate's too high or whatever the case may be. So I think the the ROI is going to be somewhere on the 25% mark less than what it is right now um, or what it's going to be at the happening. Okay. So if the hash rate keeps going up to the happening and then there's going to be a drop and then it'll, it'll kind of be kind of like the Ethereum merge. That first month was chaos. And then after the second month and third month, everything started. There, there, there was an equilibrium hit where, you know, you could run it at a certain certain point. And so I think that number will be closer to 25%, not a full 50% cut in profits. So that's what I'm thinking um, because you got to think too, hash rate's going to come off because people are going to turn off. There's also going to be a lot of people that are going to go way more efficient. They're going to put all, everything in the low power mode or use third-party software to lower their, their wattage, lower their hash rate to be more efficient. That's also bringing hash rate off the market or off the network. So I think it's 25% is probably what we're, we're looking for. And if everything stayed the same, but Bitcoin was at 60,000, that 25% doesn't look so bad anymore. Okay. And the rewards, like I said, it's going to be cut in half, but this has already taken it into effect, you know, so we don't have to change this, you know, to get the same number. If I change this, then we, then we have to start looking at this comp. So if I just change the price, that's going to give us more accurate numbers. Um, but yeah, that's, if it, if the price keeps going up, we're okay. If the price stays the same, you know, we're, you know, we're not happy because now we're looking at three years, but that's not what we get into. We don't expect nothing to change. We expect Bitcoin to, to go up. If you're going to spend quite a bit of money on a Bitcoin ASIC, you ex you're expecting the price to go up. And so, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a blood bloodbath for a month or two. But if you have a good plan and, and you have a good strategy and you get stuff at a good price, these ASIC prices, they're not going down. They're not going to go down uh, for a while. Uh, they were a lot lower before. You could get these K pros for under 2000 for a while now. They're keep edging their way up as Bitcoin prices keep going up. So if you're going to get into this market, you should get into it now uh, before it's it's too late. Because you we all know that the those J, the S19 J Pros, the 100 tera hashes, the ones you can buy used for around $1,000 right now, back in the last bull market, those are going for over $10,000. Okay? That's going to be the same. It's going to happen to these T21s, these S21s, these K Pros are going to be up there, up there in number. They're going to be maybe not ten thousand, but they're going to be up there a ways. So we know that's coming because it's done it before. And you know, if you if you're bullish on Bitcoin and you want to get into the Bitcoin ASIC market, now is the time. So I'm um, hopefully this video gave you guys some good, interesting parts. You know, interesting things to think about. You can download this. I have a a link in the description below you can download it change the numbers you know add different uh miners you can add the avalons you can add some of the other ones um and then just kind of go from there hopefully this is helpful you guys have a good day